another tough day for, for Sussex. Um, you know, it's a strong uh, Glamorgan batting lineup, but um, you know, a, a tough time for your bowlers in this game. Yeah, look, they they bat deep Glamorgan, but I thought the way that you know we've talked at length over the last couple of weeks um, with with the young bowlers, and um, I thought Brad and Sean really showed some character this morning. It would have been very easy just to to wave the white flag, let things drift, um, you know. And I thought they came out with some real purpose uh, and set the the tone of the day. Yes, you know, it, inevitably it gets to a stage where the game does have a tendency to run away f- from you, but you know, I thought Dan Ibrahim as well. I think he, he probably just went at, at three and over, and I thought, you know, um, Wolsey might not have had the success in terms of wickets as he might have liked. Um, he has actually, over the course of the last two games, where I think our innings have probably gone at sort of more at four and five, he's gone at three. So, you know, it's, it's trying to recognise the, the contributions that are being made that might not obviously capture the, the highlights that you'd hope to see of four and five and six wicket hauls. Uh, a word about Brad Curry because he's, he, he, he's, he finishes at the end of this at the end of this game that's the end of, uh, of his time at Sussex unless something happens in the in the close season. I wonder what your thoughts are on Brad. Oh look he's, he shows some real skill and uh, with the new ball and you know as I, I like I said at the beginning you know there are always these negotiations and contracts and you know, we, we have to position ourselves in the right place for that. And, um, you know, I know we'll be having discussions with Brad uh, in, the, in, in the coming weeks. And, but, you know, for me to see his skill with the new ball um, is important. You know, he, I think he's got real craft. Um, and it's something, as I say, that we, we knew we, you know, it's been quite a shock to his system to, to come into county cricket, play as much cricket as he has done. And, We've had to manage him uh, through the last couple of games, hence why he didn't play at Durham. And, you know, we wanted to manage the, really the three young bowlers. And, you know, unfortunately for Henry, he was gonna, we were probably going to give him a rest this game because he's pretty much been available for every game. And he was unfortunate to, to do his shoulder up at Durham. And we knew with Sean that, you know, if we could rest him against Worcester, that we'd probably get two really good games. And, you know, it's just shown he's, he's got better and better the more he's bowled. And, um, you know, I thought he, you know, the way he's finished today, he'll be very happy. Bit of illness and sickness in the camp. What, what can you, that's all you need, James. At the moment, yeah, Mother Cricket isn't quite dealing us the cards quite right. And unfortunately, Finn Hudson Prentice and Charlie Tier went down with sickness, sickness bugs overnight. And, you know, you're there talking to Matt Maynard to see if he would allow Ollie Carter. And very kindly, Glamorgan allowed Ollie to keep wicket. You know, and you're trying to clear that with the umpires, you're trying to clear that with the match referee, as well as um, you know understanding that you know they probably can't bat now, and you know unless we bat for some considerable time until we're five wickets down, and then what does that mean? And you know if we were to bat earlier today, then we can't get any replacements in. You know there there has been a lot to handle, and um, you know I suppose that that comes with the territory of uh, you know the responsibility I find myself in, but. I have to give all credit to the players, Wells, you know, they haven't given, you know, in terms of effort, they've given everything they can and they've tried to focus as best they can and there is a capacity for that, uh, but I think, you know, they've shown incredible uh, mental strength during this time.